Welcome to my video blog, Chasing Bats at Congaree. In this episode, I'm going to give you a tour of the field house, otherwise known as the dorm. I'm going to show you the grandness of communal living. Well, at the very least, this is where I'm staying while I'm at the park. This is where I live while at the park. The building includes a learning center for park activities and housing for researchers and interns. Across the parking lot are additional bath facilities. Let's take a look inside. Here's our porch. And here's one of the doors to my room. Our little picnic table. And you can see there's a lot of our gear on the porch. Things we don't really want to bring inside. And this is the door to the living room. Let's check it out. Not bad for communal living. It's pretty comfortable. And this is where we gather at the end of the day to wind down. Over here is the hall. There's a bulletin board on the wall. And this used to be my room, number one. Looks like they disassembled the bunk beds in there. Can't go in, it's no longer my room. Here's a second bedroom. And there's number three. And that's all that they were traditionally here. Here's the other side of the living room. Little desk by the window. And here's the bathroom. It's a pretty large bathroom, two sinks. There's the commode. Guess you gotta have one of those. And not too bad for living with everybody. And around here, this is an interesting shower area. It's more or less a gigantic stall. Quite interesting. Clean for the most part. And here's the kitchen area. Notice how there are no doors on the cabinets. That's to keep the roaches down. Yep, Southern Living. And, oh, whose empty bottle is that? I don't know. If you notice, all of our food items are in airtight containers to keep the bugs out. And here's my room. And at the moment, it's very spacious. It used to be an old office. I was kicked out of room number one because we have two women living in there now. You could see some of the shelving that was in there. We used to have a lot of gear in this room. And two biohazard freezers. Yeah, I don't store any food in there. And unfortunately, I don't have a closet yet, so I commandeered this filing cabinet. Works just fine. Unfortunately, I don't do a good job folding my clothes, but I make do. Have my own desk. There's a tripod that I, and my homemade tablet stand, that's what I've been taking video on. And this door goes right out to the front porch. See a quick view of that big huge pot, that's how we decontaminate our scrubs when we're netting. We don't want to promote the advancement of white nose. Back through my bedroom, I'll show you the learning center where we keep our gear. It's a little bit of a mess in there right now. It used to be in this office. Little lock there. As I promised, a padlock. One day. Hey. It's for my next vlog series. Wait for the camera. <laughs> that was Sean that we bumped into. He's one of the six housemates that I live with here. And I think I'll do a video sometime um, letting you uh, meet them, introduce you to them. But I'm going to wait just a little while. We have a few new members here, so I want to let the relationship grow a little bit before I put them in front of the camera. But uh, I hope you enjoyed my, this little tour. This is home for these five months that I'm down here in Congaree. And until next time.